<laughs> so. It's like... This is a weird music. How would I say... Okay, so you know the difference are the... Uh, you remember Saki during the... The, the, the only people who really had powers in that were Saki, Karamo, and that like invisible asshole. Yeah. Well, <laughs> in the second season, you see the other side, and fucking almost yeah. all those people have it. And then when you watch season two of the first uh, the first series, it's mm -hmm. it actually shows that all the people in Kiyosumi actually have a power, but it's fucking it's not as unique as the other ones, but they do have one. Ah, that's cool. Uh, but, yeah, when, in the second, or in the fucking, I'm just gonna say the side story. In the side story, fucking, in that series or whatever, Tara actually, they're actually going against Tara. Mm -hmm. And fucking, yeah, it's just like a one-sided fucking thing. <laughs> like, you have Saki and Kuromo, okay? And you saw, you know that freaking battle. It's like, okay, Kuromo is a badass. You know, she was at, like, minimal points, and she was able to fucking get up to, like, 160,000. So you know her freaking strengths. Like she can yes. fucking go crazy. The only way for getting Saki one because she was like lols. <laughs> but the point, it, the point gain that she had was fucking crazy. It was like fucking, it was plus 118. So fucking, it'll be like 100 and 180 thousand point that she gained that freaking match. Yeah. Taylor did that in the fucking in like the first five hands. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, like, fuck. Everyone started at 100,000. By the end of the fucking thing, she was at like 300,000. And everybody's like all cheering because the one girl won like... <laughs> what was it? The one girl won like 16,000. They were like, oh my god, she did that. <laughs> uh, and I was like, you guys not notice that fucking she, the other person is fucking a, like 280,000 points ahead? It's like... <laughs> You guys can cheer all you want, but I mean, you can still like whip their ass pretty damn freaking hard. Like, Basically, it, like it's it wasn't even fair, like how badly fucking she just raped them. It, yeah, <laughs> it's like she's a she's actually like a different story, and her power is fucking her all. Well, she hasn't really explained where her third one is, but she's like Saki, because mm -hmm. Saki has three of them. Uh, you you pretty much know it's the first one is like uh the first one you know is the sumata Khan. and the second one is um uh the the freaking thing where she's like when she uh wins with a bunch of small hands and she it gains up over time and freaking she plays a big hand but it's all sp like it's all small she wins she has to win like four hands or something like that with minimal points and then she plays a big hand mm -hmm. that's her second power third power is fucking she's able to fucking uh distribute certain tiles to certain people that's terrifying. so like she fucking distributes all the tiles she needs in order to fucking get her cons and stuff like that so i guess that kind of shows that she has it at the beginning mm -hmm. But then it, she pretty much does that to manipulate our, the score, so she gets that plus minus zero crap. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really show until second season when she actually fucking does that and fucking everybody's like, oh shit, that's not something we fucking even knew. Like even freaking <laughs> everyone in their freaking place was like, oh fuck, <laughs> what the fuck did we just bring into this tournament? <laughs> and then Tara has the mirror thing when she fucking, she can see everyone's fucking powers. So she could fucking she plays against him that way. That's terrifying. And her second one is fucking her hand. She'll win. She has like a fucking seventy-five plus, or I, I want to say 90, 90 percent chance of winning. And each time she wins, her freaking point gain for each hand after that goes up. So the first hand she'll probably win a thousand. Second hand she'll win two thousand. Third hand she'll win freaking four thousand. It'll just keep increasing by like doubling. To the point where she'd fucking be hitting like 32,000s constantly. <laughs> and then they'd never, they haven't explained where their power is yet. She was talking about it, she was like, I didn't get a chance to use it because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> or something like that. 
I mean, there's for making a game like that, there are unique characters that fucking do weird things. I mean, it's, it might be hard to fucking code doing that, because like, I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, something like Saki, you'd probably have to have it so it's like her. She has a higher chance of fucking getting, or yeah, she has a higher chance of fucking getting like you know, three, a phone. Mm -hmm. Like, at her base hand, like just drawing, she has a higher chance of doing that. Or actually, I guess you could say she has a higher chance of pulling a con from just drawing. But I mean, if I were a player and it was like we'd have to have it like percentage based, it'd be like ninety or something percent. You yeah, could probably lower and shit like that. But like the thing is, if you program something like that, it'd be like it'd be weird because. Like, I wouldn't know how that would actually work, because it wouldn't- the fucking hands wouldn't actually be random, like, when you, when they're building the walls. Yeah. It wouldn't actually be random, so fucking, eventually, there'll probably be a way for people to find out what goes where. And then on top of that, I, Yeah. Yeah, it's confusing. Then you have the fucking other girl from the side store who fucking draws all the Doras. So fucking, like she hoards them all so fucking no other person can have a Dora. So fucking, yeah, there's that. I mean, you'd probably have to have the other person in the side story where she fucking cancels out everyone's powers. But, or not really cancels out, she hides everyone's powers. Like she freaking puts a mist around. But, I don't know. To cover you in my mist. Pretty much. I'm trying to think. I already know the most over the second most overpowered person would probably be Tayane, who's my favorite character. Yeah. Cause she has fucking six powers, so <laughs> <laughs> So good luck with that. Piece of shit, get off the stairs. Anyway, Sharon, don't try to get away from this. Turn on your mic. <laughs> Come on, Sharon. Turn it on. Turn it on. Or whisper. Whispers in the dark. Like, I have fucking thin walls. Like, when my brother used to be freaking. Living okay. across into my other it, room. It's so right? funny because those walls are pretty fucking thin. Because, like, I, I never turned my music that high up, but then when I'd like walk out, it sounded like it really was. Like <laughs> mine? Like... In my house? No, your, yeah. Your, your room was always so quiet, but like when me or your brother had anything turned on, it, it sounded like 10 times louder than it did in the room itself. Hmm. <laughs> Is My brother is freaking always crazy. You have, in order to have your room like quiet, you have to close the door. Like it's weird. Yeah. It. Yeah. It, like the echo is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Which is the reason why I usually have my door somewhat closed. Uh, but I mean, it doesn't even matter if I have it wide open because I'm freaking like. Yeah, <laughs> but that, that's kind of the point, though. Yeah. Is like, even there, like we could just talk. Unless it's like. Loud laughing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but who knows? But yeah, I guess it's kind of the reason why Ariel likes chilling at my house, just because I can, even at like fucking two in the morning, you can fucking just start yelling, no really give a crap. Because <laughs> my everyone, my family, like fucking every sleeper. Something bothering. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Back then I used to be, when I used to stay out in that bonus room, like, uh, what other, um, living room. It's like, I used to be loud all the time, whenever and like, the other Asians used to stay over for the night and shit like that, fucking, we were like, loud as shit. <laughs> fucking, no one freaking cared. 
So, yeah. We still don't have freaking people over. I just fucking, I don't know why I never do anymore. Mm -hmm. it's not, every single time people are like, can I drop over? Or it's like, yeah, I'm gonna chill trials or I'm gonna spend that trials. So I'm always like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't mind. I guess I don't mind now. Um, I mean, I have the fucking Mahjong table just sitting here. <laughs> I haven't turned on my Mahjong table in a long time. I haven't been over there in a long fucking time. Mm. Like, uh, when was the last time I was there? I don't know. I don't either, that's the thing. Like, the last time I, like, seriously, the last time I remember being over there, which can't be the last time I was there, was like when I left. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, you've came over, like, be yeah, in between uh, then and now. Yeah. A couple times at least. I don't know, I just, I don't know. I haven't had that many people. I know why there. we don't like really go over there that often though is because like the group, Marty. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Marty. Because if Marty goes over, he's pretty much gonna die because of the freaking because of his yeah. allergies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's understandable. And that's yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> really, when you like, think about it. <laughs> Ben and Marty wanted to drop over, but I was like, I, I'm gonna have yeah, to Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. I'd have to decline because we're getting... I know Marty would fucking die the next day because we're getting... Because of allergies in my room. My, my cat usually likes to chill in my room, so it sheds a lot in my room now. So, yeah. Like, it's I a shame to, like, he can't like deal with any allergy medication he's ever had, though. Anything mm -hmm. that could actually help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you was to drop over, I would have to clean my room out of yeah. Like... Uh. I would have to, like, get all those fucking... air fresheners and fucking, like... deep... Soak my freaking carpet and shit like that, get all the fucking care out, fucking not let my cat in my ring room for like a year. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind if people want to drop by. I mean, well, they saw me in advance, I can fucking clean up this room. <laughs> I need to get rid of this fucking couch too. This I don't is know. Fucking... It it is kind of sad though, because you do have the table, mm -hmm. and that table would be fun to play on. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the oh, fuck I don't remember what night it was. It was like there was the night I remember reading about it when Marty wanted to come over because you had the table. Yeah. <laughs> But then, I, yeah, that was, I think it, it was that night, because I declined, and I was like, no, because if you come over, you're going to die. And he's like, it's okay. And I'm like, no, because tomorrow I know you have to work, so fucking, you're going to yeah. die at work. That That's the problem, though, is like, he'd have to, like, make sure he has nothing on the, the table for the next day, probably. Because mm -hmm. like, he'd probably be spending the whole day in bed. Mm -hmm. But... <sighs> I mean, what, Ben comes back and, well, he comes back in spring break. Uh, so, but I'm pretty sure his spring break is different from our spring break, so... It's it's closer to your guys' spring. Uh, oh yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's not, not the same week. So. No, I don't think so. Uh, last... Year it was the week before your guys's, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was the week after. I know it was only one week apart. Mm. Uh. So I mean, it becomes by rings. Mm, yeah, there's no way. So I mean, like the next time he actually drops by, it would be summer. Basically. So, I mean, 
this next summer I'm gonna be busy as fuck. I mean, I'm gonna be busy now because I'm since we're actually starting on the game and I'm started. I finished modeling a lot of the interior. Like I had to start. I had to buy the cry engine. I had to crack it for everyone so that everyone can use it. I get the software to everyone. Uh, so I need to get the storyline ready. Everything. On top of that, I have classes and I have work. So I only have one free day every single week to do stuff. I mean, it'll be different in the summer because I'm going to freaking quit my job. That. I don't want to be there another summer. No fucking one. Last fucking summer was a fucking... was hell. I mean, like, seriously, working, like, 70 hours a freaking week. There's no way. But... Yeah. Uh, this dude isn't showing up. I ended up leveling once today, and I might do that while I'm waiting hmm? for a Terra until people are ready to do shit. Like right now? Yeah, I might do that right now until people are ready to do shit. Because mm. <laughs> this is this this shit game I'm playing right now is all like waiting on time.